once you understand how you can make this home page of this blog let's take a look at how you can create the blog page now if you try to click on this blog title you're going to navigate to the blog post and here you have all the details of this blog and i'm going to create this page inside the post directory and you can see the id of this blog is one if i change this id to two then you can see you're going to have your second blog if i change this to three you're going to get your third block and we are going to pass this path to the link component so we can navigate through different blocks so let's take a look at how we can create this blog page so let me just back to my project now to create a blog page you have to create a new file inside this pages folder because we are creating a new route so we create a new file inside this pages and we first create a folder and i'm going to name this folder post you can specify any name to this folder that's upon you and then inside this post i'm going to create a file with the name page.js just for now i'm going to specify file name page.js later we'll understand how you can convert this file into dynamic route just for the design i'm going to create a file page.js and here i'm going to export a default function so i'm going to say here export default function and i'm going to name this function page get rid of the parameter and this parenthesis value and then i'm going to return here a jsx so we pass here div and say page let me save these changes then i'm going to back to my project and here i'm going to say forward slash post page and press enter you can see you're going to have your page now because inside this post directory we have the page.js file we specify that file name as a route in next.js as you know the file name becomes the route let me just toggle this window on the right side something like this and now let me create this blog page what i have to do is i want my header and the footer so to get the header and footer you need this layout component this one inside this layout component as you know you have header and footer so to get that at the top right up here you say import format from and then specify here double dot forward slash then again specify double dot forward slash and then specify here layout component and inside that you have format and then i'm going to get rid of this div and specify here format like this let me save this you can see i'm going to have my header and the footer and inside this we have the page title just out of that inside this page right here i'm going to create a new section so i'm going to say here section I'm going to first specify here some Delvin classes. So specify here class name container MX auto. Then specify MD padding X2. Then I'm going to specify padding Y16. That will add top and bottom padding. And add width 1 by 2. It means width is going to be 50%. Just out of that, inside this section, I'm going to first add the author section. So I'm going to create here a div. Specify some classes here. Flex. Justify center and inside this i'm going to call my author component as you know we need to first import this author at the top here i'm going to say import author from double dot forward slash and then specify here components inside that we have child and inside that we have author let's save the changes you can see i'm going to have my author here just out of that just out of this div right down here i'm going to create my post so I'm going to create here a div with the title post with padding by 10. So this will add top and bottom padding. And then here I'm going to say h1 and then specify title of the blog post. So just for now, if I copy and paste some text here, when I save the changes, you can see I'm going to have this title just out of that. Let me just specify some classes here. So class name is going to be font bold, text for Excel and text is going to be center at the document save the changes here i'm going to have the result just out of that i also want padding bottom five so this will add bottom padding to this title just out of that just out of this title right down here i'm going to add a paragraph and specify some text to it so i'm going to copy this text and specify that inside this paragraph save the changes and here i'm going to have this title let me just grab this title and specify that right instead of this big title let me specify a small title here save this here i'm going to have my title and the paragraph to this paragraph i'm going to specify some delvin classes so i'm going to back to the paragraph 
and specify here classes so here i'm going to say text gray 500 text excel and text center let me save the changes here i'm going to have the result just out of that just out of this paragraph right down here i'm going to add my image so let me first add padding by 10 here and then i'm going to add my image component so before i add image component as you know you need to first import here import image from the next image and then here i'm going to say image specify here source attribute and in the source attribute i'm going to copy the path of this image specify the relative path here then don't forget to add width which is going to be 900 and height is going to be 600 pixel let me save this you can see i'm going to have my image just out of that just out of this image right down here i'm going to have my content so i'm going to say here content to this div let me specify some text so we pass here text gray 600 then text lg the font size then specify flex flex column and gap is going to be four just out of that inside this we have a different paragraph let me just copy and paste some content here something like this so i'm going to copy and paste some content here so this is the description of this blog and as you can see the blog page is now completed when i scroll down what i want here i want component in the finish website when i scroll down at the bottom we have here a related component let's see how we can make this component in the blog 